Listen up folks, today I'm gonna to be diving into a 2022 paper which compared collagen supplementation with whey supplementation and the respective muscle growth outcomes. Now, before we dive in, collagen protein is a fundamental component in our bodies and constitutes a significant part of our bone, muscle, ligaments, tendons, and cartilage tissue. Its recent surge in popularity as a trending protein source raises a number of questions about its true worth in regards to muscle building. Collagen is not great for muscle building, though it is often praised for its role in supporting our health of our hair, our skin, our nails, but it does fall short in terms of building muscle. There are 28 known types of collagen, with type 1 collagen accounting for 90% of the collagen in the human body. Its amino acid profile is rich in non-essential amino acids like proline, hydroxyproline and glycine, but it lacks the essential amino acids such as tryptophan and other important amino acids such as leucine, which we know are essential for muscle growth. Previous research on collagen supplementation has found that collagen can increase muscle mass in premenopausal women and improve strength outcomes. However, these studies compared collagen to a placebo, so the results are to be expected, as a group consuming a higher protein intake will likely gain more muscle mass than a group not taking a protein supplement at all. A study published just last year in May of 2022 actually compared collagen supplementation to whey protein supplementation, and the results were not favorable for collagen. In this study, 22 healthy, untrained participants were randomly assigned into one of two groups. A whey protein group, which contained 35 grams of whey protein with a 3 gram supplement of leucine, and a leucine-matched collagen peptide group, which contained 35 grams of collagen protein, containing around one gram of leucine and two grams of free leucine. The participants followed a supervised resistance training program consisting of three sessions per week for a 10-week duration. Participants consumed their assigned protein supplement after each workout and in the evenings of their non-training days, in addition to their regular diets. For anyone who would like to read this paper, you can find the PMID linked in the YouTube description below. Also guys, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more evidence-based content just like this. All right, let's get back into it. Muscle growth was measured at the vastus lateralis and the biceps brachii using an ultrasound, along with some other training outcomes, including isokinetic peak torque and the mean power output of the elbow flexor, as well as the peak output of the lower body. So what did the researchers find? The whey protein group experienced significantly larger increases in muscle thickness than the collagen group, approximately an 8.4% increase in the vastus lateralis and a 10.1% increase in the biceps brachii, compared to 5.6% and 6% in the collagen group. There were no significant differences between groups for all other measures. In other words, when compared to whey protein, collagen protein is an inferior supplement when it comes to muscle hypertrophy. So, what is all the hype around collagen and what might collagen be important for? Well, research suggests that collagen may be beneficial for improving joint function and for reducing joint pain. Additionally, collagen has been found to improve the appearance of our skin, improving our skin's hydration, elasticity, and the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So to wrap this up, I will make the following statements. If age is beginning to catch up with you and your main goal is to improve your skin's appearance, skin elasticity, hydration, and collagen density, then it might not be the worst idea to focus your efforts on increasing your intake of collagen protein. I will point out, however, that most animal protein sources, while they do comprise slightly different amino acid profiles compared to collagen, do still contain most of the key amino acids found in collagen, such as proline, alanine, arginine, and glycine. So simply increasing your consumption of animal proteins may be a more cost-effective approach to improving your skin's appearance. If you're beginning to feel the wear and tear on your joints and you want to improve your overall joint function, then collagen supplementation may be one of the most viable approaches. And it's supported by science that may help in providing you with some relief. Lastly, if muscle growth is your primary focus, then whey protein and other animal protein sources may yield superior muscle growth outcomes. In fact, what is likely to be even more important for muscle growth beyond which type of protein you consume is your total daily protein intake and making sure that it falls within the recommended reference range of 1 to 1.3 grams per pound of lean body mass per day. And if you can accomplish this on most days, then it's also likely that you'll naturally consume an adequate amount of the specific amino acids that will help in building collagen for improved 
skin health. So guys, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you still have questions about collagen, please feel free to drop me a comment below. And also don't forget to give this video a like if you found it helpful. Subscribe to my channel and take a look in the description below for where you can learn more about my one-on-one -on -one coaching along with all my other products and services. I'll see you in my next video.